Boston College and Virginia Tech meeting for the fifth time in the last three seasons. Twice in the last two ACC championships, twice in the last two regular seasons. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Any Tizers. It's Boston College at number five, Virginia Tech. Let's bring in CBS Sports' to Spencer Tillman to break this down. And Spence, BC has won the last two regular season meetings. Virginia Tech has won the last two ACC championship meetings. That play any role here this weekend? Well, just a predictor. It means BC is going to win this one. It's a regular <laughs> season game, right? You know, I don't know. You flip a coin on this one. Both these teams, I think the takeaway here, are uh, peaking at the right time and really coming into their self. Different stories and how they got to where they are, but it's impressive to watch BC now in the recent weeks become a pretty solid ball club. And, of course, after the early stumble against Alabama, Virginia Tech has become a very different ball club as well. So uh, it's fun to watch them. This, this is an exciting time for both clubs. And, and, Spence, one of the ways that the Hokies have become a different type of team is they're hitting the big play, and Tyrod Taylor yeah. starting to show up like the quarterback that Frank Beamer said he could be at the beginning of the season. Can they continue that, or was it just some of the teams they played against, like Duke last week? Yeah, well, Duke, by the way, I'm going to call them uck until they show us some D. Uh, look, they're not a great defensive unit, but still that doesn't take away from the fact that Tyrod Taylor was able to complete five passes of 20 yards or more. That's big strike capability. And this has been not just an incidental deal, it's been a reoccurring theme. And I didn't think they could sustain it based on his performances in past years and in past weeks. Uh, but yes, that's what they've become. And when you combine that with the fact that they play tremendous special teams, the big strike capability, and their young runners, who have been quite impressive. All of a sudden, you've got a very potent Virginia Tech offensive attack. They're pretty strong right now. What about the job that Frank Spaziani has done at Boston College, Spence, taking over yeah. for Jeff Jagodzinski and, you know, after being there for a long time as the defensive coordinator as well under Tom O'Brien. What has mm -hmm. he done here that impresses you the most? Well, he's done a fine job of galvanizing a group of young men who, obviously, you just mentioned, it was a very tumultuous situation. And these kids are a little bit rock coming into the 09 season, a little bit uncertain. I mean, they had pretty much grown to accept and know who Jeff Jagosinski really was all about. Jeff did a tremendous job in his first year, full year there. Uh, he was impressive. And then all of a sudden, you snatch that young, aggressive coach out of the equation and replace him with another guy who you don't know a lot about. Uh, I give them high marks for responding quite well, and particularly Montel Harris, their running back, Spaziani, the head coach, his job was great, but players played the game, and Harris, for his part, has really helped stabilize that offensive unit. Yeah, that's important, too, because BC's got a true freshman quarterback in Dave Shinsky. Yep. But here's the question, though, Spence, because the last two games, Virginia Tech has given up 59 and 38 yards, respectively, on mm -hmm. the ground mm -hmm. after getting torn mm -hmm. up earlier this mm -hmm. season on the ground. Mm -hmm. Can Montel yeah. Harris and this BC offensive line run against this Virginia Tech defense? You just gave it, given us the matchup. That's it. Harris versus the Virginia Tech defense. And, and I guarantee you, when you look at the line after this game is over with, you will be able to point to that. The relative success or failure of Virginia Tech in stopping Harris or Harris uh, beating that vaunted defense of Virginia Tech to point directly to who the winner will be. And uh, that's, that's one of those irrefutable facts in this contest because, be believe me, if BC can't run the football, they're going to get run out of the building. Yeah, well, that's, that could be very interesting at Lane Stadium. Uh, last time they were there, it was Matt Ryan with the comeback. This time, if it was going to need a comeback, going to have to rely on a true freshman quarterback. Who you got, BC or Virginia Tech? Can't go against Virginia Tech right now. They look good. They're the darlings of, of the ACC right now. Virginia Tech all the way by at least a couple of touchdowns. Yeah, and the ACC Coastal is a lot better than the ACC Atlantic, especially when you see what Florida <laughs> State and Clemson and NC State are doing now, now towards the bottom of that. The, the, the coast is a lot better this year, and so this game maybe means more for Virginia Tech. I we'll agree. We'll I see. agree. Yeah. Spencer T, thank you very much, and we'll see you this weekend. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, be sure to stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson. Any Tizer's the meaty good man snack. For Spencer T., I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.